Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a review of the new Maybelline Grape Soda Palette. And actually this is a first impressions because I just bought this at my Walgreens and I'm like, I gotta figure this out, right? Mm, do we like it? It's actually called Soda Pop, not Grape Soda. But give me a break, it's purple. But it does have root beer, grape beer, grape beer, grape pop and orange pop. We remember the lemonade one. I wasn't, the lemonade one was okay, but I was not, I was underwhelmed, if that makes sense. This smells kind of grapey, just kind of sweet. I have to say, the color scheme is kind of cool. So it's definitely broken down into, it's 12 pans and they're kind of in these color groupings. So I guess this is like your orange, you know, your root beers, your grapes, your root beers, your oranges, uh, yeah. But they seem to be pretty good. I think this one is better than the lemonade one just based on finger swatches. It retails from around 12 to $14 depending on what store, where you live. I found mine, I think it was $12.99 at Walgreens and I had some points, reward points to redeem, so it was kind of it was kind of a good deal for me. So I'm gonna go with this little group right here. We have chilling, it feels really smooth, tonic, and sugar high. So those three shades right there. Let's see how you do. Not bad. They're not bad. They're soft, they're smooth. We'll see what their color payoff is on the lid. Okay, then you have, this is definitely like a cream soda or orange soda kind of combo right here. You have ginger ale, crushing, orange crush, and what is this? Cola float. So these three shades right here, not this finger, these three, hello, focus. Those are kind of cool and they're all matte. Ready? Okay, now getting into the grape stuff. We have Soda Fizz, which definitely has more sheen, but I kind of like it. And then we have Grape Pop. That's pretty. Blue Raspberry, best icy flavor ever. <gasps> nice, right? Those went on pretty darn good. That grape shade is, no sorry, blue raspberry is actually quite gray. Now, we've got the cherry, the cherry cola here. We've got cherry on top, which is matte. We have cherry cola, Ooh, which is very smooth and it's a shimmer and then root beer which looks like a matte brown that my friends is very pigmented so root beer it's pretty good I mean so there it is on my arm it feels smooth doesn't feel chalky I'm not sure I think I'm gonna go with like a purple something purpley but I might kind of dive into some of the other color stories just because I'm not gonna use anything else. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Chilling as a base. And I'm actually gonna use, what am I gonna use for my hand out there? This elf. Okay, so Chilling, <sighs> Chilling is going on right now. Very neutral. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush in Cherry on Top. It's purpley, but it's also kind of reddish, but to me, it seems like a good matte um, in my crease shade to start with the purples, or you know, to set a base. I 
I mean, this palette, based on the fact that it's called Soda Pop, seems like it should be fun and playful. And if you want more color versus neutrals, so, you know, we gotta, we gotta play into the spirit. bad. Just what every makeup company wants to hear. Not bad. Okay, I'm going in. What am I going to go in? I'm going to go in root beer. It's a little, I mean, it was so pigmented. I'm a little scared, but I'm going to use it in here. I'm going to get that just right there. It's, um, okay, so it's not blending as well as I want it to. I'm gonna use a different kind of brush just to see if the... It's doing okay, but it's also kind of doing that thing where it goes with the wrinkles of my eyelids younger YouTube reviewing, a younger YouTuber reviewing this would have that problem. <laughs> but the way my eyelids are kind of crepey, um, you know, there's just more slack to them. It's doing that thing where I can kind of see versus just it being smooth. But it doesn't, I'm not discouraged entirely. Just letting you know. I am going to put my finger in Cherry Cola, and I'm gonna do that right here. Huh, why is that not, huh? That's weird. It went on really nicely here with my finger, and then when I put my finger back, it's almost like, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's doing okay. Uh, what do we think, guys? I mean, compared to like the Emily Noel and stuff and other things I've been using, it's a little bit patchy little bit patchy. Let's get some setting spray on a brush. Ugh. And I'm going to go in Soda Fizz, which is that really sparkly color. And we're going to place it right here. Ooh, that doesn't, well, okay. You have to work it. But I'm not digging that root beer shade in my crease. That, I can tell you, is bugging me. <laughs> That's bugging me. I'm gonna take, I know I didn't like root beer. <laughs> But I am going to take that on an edge brush and just kind of put it underneath in my lower lash area. And then I'm going to go in with grape. 
can finish go over the hole underneath. Woo, that was fun. That's a fun shade. All right. I'm gonna put on mascara and lipstick and then I'm gonna give you guys a final look. Well, I tried to come up with a lip shade to sort of match and I did the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in, which shade is this? Pop Quiz. And it's actually, this looks really dark and it's this shade, so it's kind of more of a berry versus this deep vampy plum, but, um, it was kind of messy, so I cleaned it up with the Besame, the Dual Ended um, Lip Pencil, and I don't know what the shades are on this one, but um, they're very kind of that wine burgundy, and I think that helped. Um, so that's, just to let you know, that's what I'm wearing. I definitely loaded on the mascara, and the Maybelline Soda Pop is fun. It is maybe not, Maybe it's not perfect, but for a drugstore, it's pretty great. Um, there's just that one patchy shade, but honestly, there is some good stuff in here. So I'm pleased, I'm not overwhelmed, um, but I think this is better than the Lemonade in terms of pigmentation, um, just kind of color variety, pigmentate, did I say pigmentation? Um, you know, just kind of wearability, I suppose. So yeah, yeah. But I figured it's in stores. They've been kind of the, they've had the displays previewing it for a long time, like coming soon. So I thought, well, you're probably curious if you see this, like, should I get it, Rebecca? Should I get it? You know, but if you've got some extra points for Walgreens or Rite Aid or wherever you find it, and you can get it less than $10, I would go for it. If you love purple, then yeah. And I think a nude lip would look good with this kind of bright look, but I thought it's October, we're all kind of getting into vampy stuff, let's have some fun with a dark lip and a purple eye, why not? Plus, if you've got green eyes like me, bam bam. Mm -hmm. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link everything below that I used and that's on my face, and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.